A beautiful smile makes the first great impression. At Atlanta Technical College, we take your smile seriously. Our state-of-the-art lab is so amazing with real-world technology. Our dental hygiene students, they serve the community by offering dental cleanings based on donations. Our graduates are recruited by the top dental employers across the United States. I am Marisha Singleton. I am the Dental Hygiene Coordinator for the Atlanta Technical College Dental Hygiene Program. And on this episode of Atlanta Tech Talks, you will get to sit down with the current dental hygiene student, Mr. Darren Anthony Green. Hear what it's like to experience hands-on learning with our incredible instructors. Get your popcorn and candy ready, but also your toothbrush and floss too. So let's take a listen to our latest episode of Atlanta Tech Talks Student Takeover Edition. Welcome to Atlanta Tech Talks. I'm your host, Jason Warner. And in this new season, the Student Takeover, you see that we're in a whole different place. Uh, we're at Atlanta Technical College campus, but we're in the dental hygiene lab. This state-of-the-art facility has 15 chairs, has an x-ray, x-ray lab, has digital optical equipment that they can literally go in your mouth with a camera. Like, it's amazing here. Listen, if I was a dental hygiene student, I probably would, uh, not probably, I would be here every single day. (laughs) Uh, uh, You just can't imagine what is going on here. One of the amazing things that I found out from Ms. Singleton is that they see people in the community absolutely free, from pediatric to geriatric. I mean, and it's amazing. They work with an orphanage and have uh, the young people there come get their teeth cleaned absolutely free, work with the homeless population. What more can I say? But this is not even about that. It's about the students that are learning every single day. And today we have an amazing student, our goal student. So I found out what the goal student is. It's the top student, not just in the dental hygiene program, but the top student at Atlanta Technical College. Mr. Green, welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Uh, It's an honor. Uh, When I got the notice, uh, I was just filled with excitement, man, to come on and uh, share my story and my background so this is amazing so you know most of the students here at Atlanta Technical College have a non-traditional route Mr. Green you have a a a truly (laughs) non-traditional route so what many folks may not know this brother here is in law enforcement yes (laughs) so you go from stopping bad guys to beating down plaque (laughs) (laughs) yes yes so talk Um, about that journey a little bit yeah, it's a very, very non-traditional route, you know, to to dentistry. Um, moment of transparency, when I first came to Atlanta from Detroit, Michigan, I was actually homeless. So this time um, of trials and tribulations, I was just searching for myself. Mm-hmm. I was searching for answers. And through the graces of God and resilience, I landed a position with the Fulton County Sheriff's, um, in which um, I was a detention officer for two years with okay. them. So in seek of just advancement and, you know, continual progression, I then uh, became certified as a peace officer with the College Park Police Department. Okay. So that's a total of four years, you know, in law enforcement. Right. And, you know, that's how I started a professional career. Um, law enforcement wasn't something that I always wanted to do. Okay. You know, I've always wanted to be in healthcare. Healthcare was the main thing from um, a younger age. So, um, Law enforcement provided the foundation for me to take that next step. And here I am at Atlanta Tech. You know, it's, it's interesting, right? Because it, there is a correlation, right? It's, it, in law enforcement, you're serving the community. Yes, um, yes. In healthcare, you're serving the community. It's just by different means. So you're still following your passion, right? Absolutely. So, so, so talk about that transition. Um, you know, what created the shift for you to say, you know what, this is something I can do? Because most people, when they start their career in a path, mm-hmm. it's hard to take that pivot. But you took a strong pivot to follow your dreams. And it's not just to be a dental hygienist, but to actually be a dentist. Be, become a dentist, yes. I believe you have to, first of all, know yourself. Mm-hmm. You have to be true to yourself. And you, be, you have to be true to your um, current position. You know what I mean? Are you... Are you fulfilled with what you want to do on a day-to-day basis? And right. for me, I wasn't truly fulfilled, and I had to make that adjustment. And with making that adjustment, um, 
it really was an eye opener for me. You know, it was it really was a spark of not only motivation, but my resilience. You know, right. it was re reinvigorating, so to speak. So um, it really gave me the motivation to keep going. And once I took the first step, I was able to take the second step and then and then the third step. And then I gained, you know, that that motivation and that traction, you know, and that belief within myself that I could actually do it and make the adjustment. So you, we, we talked a little earlier, and you talked about how you started in law enforcement. Then you came to Atlanta Technical College to get your associate's degree mm -hmm. and then transitioned here. So talk about a little bit about how that process of balancing, you know, a current career, because a lot of students that are coming to Atlanta Tech, they have a full-time job. Yes. And they may be transitioning. They may have young people that care for at home and transition. So, you know, for folks that are watching and listening, I think it's helpful to understand how you can balance and be successful because clearly the goal student, you're successful. <laughs> uh, yes, that work-life balance is something that is definitely needed once, once you want to make the transition. Right. Because, you know, the reality of the situation is um, you acquire a lot of responsibility right. when you do this type of thing. Um, so you have to be focused, you mm -hmm. have to have clarity, and you have to have resilience at the end of the day. There's a certain structure that you have to have and um, foundation about yourself on a moment-to-moment, -moment, day to day basis. Right. And if you can have that, you can definitely make it happen. Um, the work-life balance, it, like I said, it's, you need it. But once you get, you get into an organization like Atlanta Tech, the support is there. So it makes it a lot comfortable it makes the process a lot easier and and it just uh creates a, a dynamic of life that is um embracing that's awesome you know on the podcast we talk a lot to partners and talk about the programs but we this is the first time we have a student takeover so people can see what it's really like to be here yeah. um talk about being a student in the dental hygiene program from their instructors to the leaders here to just the everyday classroom life. Because, I mean, when folks think of college, they don't think of experiences like this, right? We're in a lab, state-of-the-art lab. So talk to us a little bit about what that day-to-day -day looks like. Because I know you're in, in classrooms and mm -hmm. you're taking notes, but to be able to have that hands-on experience, I think that's just so invaluable. So talk a little bit about that. It, it truly is, um, and I would like to say this first. I feel like this is a hidden gem. You know, not a lot of um, high school students or even adults are aware of the opportunities at just, you know, technical education in general. Right. Um, but for specifically the dental hygiene program, starting now, it was a bit rough, you okay. know, because my instructors, they have to set a tone, right? They have a certain standard that – they um, expect from themselves and from, from us as students, right. okay? But once we show that, it becomes more of a uh, family-oriented type environment. And that's what truly what the goal was from the start. Right. And, you know, coming in, it makes everything just, just much more um, appreciated, to be honest with you, because you don't come across organizations like this on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, absolutely. It's, it's interesting. Um, Singleton and I were talking before, and, you know, one of the things that we know about Atlanta Technical College is the best bang for your buck. Um, you know, you'll hear all these programs on the radio and the news and say, come to our school. Come. But this is a state institution. It's a part of the Georgia Technical College mm -hmm. system. Um, and, you know, but you talked about something that was really cr critical, like setting the tone up front. Because, there's a board that you have to pay for after oh, yes. finishing. That's two thousand dollars. That investment. That's outside of your schooling, right? Mm -hmm. So if they don't set that standard, um, you know, I think folks could be out of bounds. But there are people that are going to be watching this and listening and and say, you know, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know. Like, what would you tell that student that's on the fence, that's preparing for a journey at Atlanta Technical College? What what, what advice would you give them? Well, advice would include um, having clarity, right? So this is very important for a number of different reasons. First and foremost, you don't want to waste time. Right. Right? You don't want to waste time. You don't want to waste the money at the end of the day. So you have to have clarity. How can we establish clarity is another question, okay? Seek mentorship. 
you know, try to find out what you truly value in life as a, as a high school student or even as a, you know, adult who's looking for continual education, right. right? So we have to seek what we value and seek what we passion and then move forward to, you know, come to some, uh, a situation like this and, 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 and make the, the decision to, uh, you know, get involved with what you want to get involved with. You know, it's, it's, you, you mentioned that it's a hidden gem, and we say this a lot. And it's, it's, it's Atlanta's best-kept secret that shouldn't be a secret. Right. Um, what is the most surprising thing? And, I, and this is for, like, those high school students or those parents that are watching or that, that gatekeeper, that guidance counselor, that transition. What was the most surprising thing about walking on the campus from the dental hygiene lab to all the other classrooms that you see walking um, around the campus. What is the most surprising thing for you, and what would you uh, tell people to just look at? The most surprising thing, let's see, that's a good question. Um, you know what? I would have to say that the most surprising thing was the family-oriented environment. That was the most surprising thing. Um, I, I feel as though once you show the instructors and the staff and the directors that you're serious about what you want to do, uh -huh. they will embrace you and treat you as a, in a, as a part of the family, you know? And once you become a part of the family, connections are made, you know what I mean? The sky is the limit because the truth is you can't do anything by yourself. Absolutely. And you need that family-oriented environment in order to grow. That's awesome. So as we close out, every time we close out a show, we ask our guests to give an Atlanta Tech Talk success tip. Okay. And it's, it could be something that you learned here. Uh, it could be something that you learned growing up in Detroit, your career in law enforcement, but something to leave the folks with. It's just one tip that you try to live by uh, that we can close this out with. Uh, one tip. I want to say um, have resilience about yourself and your situation. Um, it's not going to be easy. Any, any goal that you have, any objective, it's not going to be easy. So you have to learn to work through the pain because only the toughest challenges are built for the strongest warriors. Man, I mean, that, that, that's, that, that's how you close it out. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's about sticking to it. Yes. Um, you're you're going to learn a lot at Atlanta Technical College. So if you want to be like Mr. Green, visit atlantatech.edu to find out more about the amazing programs, especially here in the dental hygiene program. I'll just tell you this. It's not the easiest program to get into. I, I don't. I don't want folks to think that you just just because you apply you get in. This is a highly selective, and um, I mean, the, the graduation rate and the employment rate are second to none. Um, so you you're just not going to say, oh, I'm just going to skip to the loo and and walk on in here. But there's some amazing things happening at Atlanta Technical College, and we'd love to see you here. Uh, this, uh, my name is Jason Warner. I'm your host. This is Atlanta Tech Talks Student Takeover Edition.